It's National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and childhood cancers can impact children's lives physically and emotionally. And I talked with reality star Shauna Ray and Dr. James Kowalski about the emotional impact of childhood cancer. Good morning, Shauna Ray and Doctor. How are you doing this morning? Good, how are you? Great. Thanks for having Good. us. I'll tell you, Shauna Ray, let's talk about your story because it's a very interesting story and of course how cancer impacted your life and how you are literally making a difference in getting the word out about how you got cancer. Yeah, so I was diagnosed with brain cancer at six months, and then I went into chemo, and I went under going multiple chemo treatments, and later in life, they found I had a physical tool, which was my pituitary dwarfism. But they really overshadowed that mental, emotional, and social tool because of the physical impact my cancer had. Yeah. Shauna Ray, I love that you are letting people know how children are trying to make people understand about having child cancer. So let's talk a little more about that. Yeah. So going through cancer, whether you're a family member or the doctor or you're actually the patient, it can be a very lonely feeling because you're not really focusing on how you're doing emotionally and socially. You're focused on survivorship. You're focused on getting rid of the cancer permanently and just kind of trying to go back into normal life. But that transition can be really hard. And that's why I love the My Special Aflac duck because it's a robotic duck that can have the same kind of emotion cues and go through the treatments that the child is undergoing. Yeah, and doctor, let's talk about the biggest challenge that kids and family have when they go through cancer treatment. Yeah, well, fortunately, Brad, the majority of children and adolescents who are diagnosed and treated for cancer will be cured. But survivorship comes at a cost. Um, as they age, over 95% of survivors will experience at least one chronic health condition, with over 80% experiencing late effects that are serious, disabling, or life-threatening in nature. These conditions can be visible or invisible and express at different times. Um, that's why I love working with a company like Athlac Cancer and Blood Disorder Center that understands the need for treating the whole child across their lifespan. From diagnosis to active treatment to life and cancer survivorship, these kids will always be part of the Athlac family and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Yeah, Shauna, let's talk about how important it is to get the community involved and how you are very outspoken about that. I think having a community, one, is very important, but being involved with the community, whether you're a cancer survivor or know someone battling cancer or have never experienced it, it's extremely important because one, it helps break the stigma that comes with cancer, it helps build empathy, and it helps rehabilitate those children or those survivors once they've gone through the battle and they've done all the work and they have survived. Yeah, this is for the doctor, but I want Sean to answer it too. But doctor, let's talk about advice given to parents, um, how they can talk to other family members, how they can talk to their teachers, how they can talk to just the community when a child's going through child cancer. Well, I think my advice would be is to lead with kindness. Among my patients, there's no question that a diagnosis of childhood cancer and treatment can be traumatic. But many of our survivors also report things like post-traumatic growth or resiliency as a result of treatment. Promoting ideals such as tolerance and inclusion and acceptance help survivors to best integrate with their communities after cancer treatment and resume their lives with as little disruption as possible. Yeah. And, and I completely agree with Dr. Klosky, and I think that it is super important to have that because without promoting the positivity, promoting the survivorship and the benefit of knowing early prevention and stuff like that, you one, again, break that stigma, but also have that community and make that child feel less alone, which is why AFLAC is so important in what they're trying to achieve. Yeah, Shauna, doctor, I thank you very much. And Shauna, I want you not to stop talking about this. I don't want you, I know you as an adult, you continue this, so please do it. I think it's important. And where can we find more information? You can find more information at aflac.com slash bridge to brighter. Perfect, thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having us.